fight over a man. I am going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm going to do a get to know me tag. I wanted to put more content out there so that way y'all can get to know your girl. All right, so let's get into this get to know me tag. I actually found a bunch of questions from a YouTube get to know me tag and I picked the ones that I felt like, you know, y'all would like to hear. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first question is, what is my name? My name is Megan, it's not Megan, it's not Megan, it's not, what's another one I get? Uh, Meghan. Actually, my name gets mispronounced a lot. They don't pronounce the A in my name, which is fine, you know, I'll go, if someone says Megan, I'll actually answer, but my name is Megan. And I also go by that on Instagram, Megan Lindsay, and I also have a, a blog that is titled my name, my first and middle name. So check out my blog if you not if you have not already. Next question: Where is your girl from? I am actually from the boot, Louisiana. So if I have any other people that are from Louisiana, please comment down below. I am from down south. A lot of people say I have an accent. I don't hear it, but sometimes I kind of do, but I feel like I really don't sound like I'm from Louisiana. But let me know if you can hear my accent, if you also hear an accent, because every time I like talk to other people, they're like, oh, I could tell you from Louisiana. And so yes, I am from the good old state of Louisiana. How tall am I? I am actually very, very sharp. Well, not very, very sharp, but I'm a shardy. I am actually 5'4". Y'all let me know what y'all thought, how tall y'all thought I was. Because, I don't know, sometimes um, different YouTubers, I'll see them in person, I'm like, wow, she's tall, or wow, she's really sharp. So yes, I am a good and whopping 5'4". What year am I born? I am actually an 80s baby. I was born in the 80s. I was born in 85, so you do the math on how old I am. Okay, so we're gonna get into some juicier questions. Who is my celebrity crush? Y'all, I actually have two celebrity crushes. I am going to go with my first one, even though my friends may say that I'm lying, but I'm, we're gonna get into that next. My first celebrity crush would definitely be Morris Chestnut. I think he is like so, like he is the ideal guy. Everything about him from his smile, and I'm like a sucker for a good smile. Like if you have pretty straight teeth, I think that would be my fetish. You know how some people have like a foot fetish? My fetish would definitely be straight teeth. I don't know, I'm just into like a nice pretty smile. And he has the best smile. Um, my other person would be uh, Nelly. Nelly has never aged. He is still looking good. So those two would be my celebrity crushes. And the reason why I would say my friends would beg to differ is because like a lot of times, you know, like they'll have different rappers and like, for instance, Future. I just love the way he sounds when he raps. And so I might be like, he is bae, but it doesn't really mean like I really like the way he looks. I just like the his his style or I like the way he sounds when he raps. So that's why I say my friends would probably not agree with what I just said. <laughs> Cause I'd be like, oh he is bad. And they're like, oh team coffee or team tea. I'm actually team coffee. I have to have coffee every morning. I have to have it or my day will not go right. Um, my favorite coffee is from Starbucks. They are on the expensive side, so I have to treat myself every now and then. But my order would be a white chocolate mocha, 
add peppermint and oh, it is so good and hot. I like a hot one. Every now and then I will drink cold, but I'm more of a hot coffee girl. Okay, this next question, y'all, brace yourselves. But this is actually a question about my most embarrassing moment in high school. So first of all, let me just say, this is from high school. You know, I'm grown now, I feel. And like, I would never go to that extreme ever again. And so me and this girl, we both had like the same boy. And I, I would never fight over a, a guy ever, ever, ever. But at this time of my life, she would always talk smack. Like every time she would see me, she would just talk smack. And I am generally a quiet person. Well, they had this state fair and like, it's like this big thing in my town. And so everybody goes. Y'all, I had my little weave ponytail. I had my little flip phone that was, was in style. That's when like phone, cell phones first came out. So you know, I thought I was looking real cute. I had on like this little faux fur because it was kind of cold at the time. Thought I was looking real cute. So here she comes. And I, I probably knew I was gonna see her because everybody would go to this particular event. When I say I saw her and you know, she usually always would say stuff to me, but I would hardly ever say anything back. But that day I was just tired, you know, sis was tired. So I responded to her and I was like, you know, that's one thing about me. If you trying to hurt me by with your words, I'm a, I'm a clap back. I feel a lot of people say I'm sassy or I'm feisty and yeah, that is true. So y'all, I clap back on her and I was just like, you know, I had had enough. And so I had went and she had said something slick and I had said something back. And so me and her was going back and forth and I'm a good talk back talk. Like I had never been in a fight ever in life at this point. And so I'm just talking my smack. And then the one of the, my friends that was with me, y'all, I guess the girl had got kind of close to me in my face. Never would I imagine what would go down next. My friend punched that girl straight in her face. Like they just started fighting. So when they started fighting, I was just like, oh my God, I don't know how to fight. Like, what am I supposed to do? Well, needless to say, my friend was getting the best of her. So the girl's other friend jumped in and started hitting my friend. Of course, I was like, oh no, I have to jump in because my friend just hit this girl for me. I jumped in the fight. Like I said, don't even know how to fight. Jump in the fight, y'all. And the girl had another friend. She jumps on top of me, but she's not hitting me or anything. She goes straight for my hair. She pulls off my weave ponytail. I had a little piece of hair about this big. You know how it, <laughs> I was so embarrassed now this is years ago so i mean we was in but it really wasn't in it when i said i was embarrassed i y'all after the fight i had to hurry up look for my weave because there was no way i was gonna be walking around with a piece of hair this big like it was like a little plait on the top of my head about this big like you you would swear this was some type of movie the way it all went down Y'all, I was so embarrassed. But so yeah, that's my little story time. And if I have some young girls watching me, do never fight over a man. What is my favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is pink. I just love the color pink. I'm a girly girl, so yes, that is my favorite color. Do I have any siblings? I actually have one brother and he is seven years younger than me. Um, yeah, we we did not get along when we were younger, but now we're tight. That's my little bro. What is my pet peeves? <sighs> One of my pet peeves is repeating myself after I have said things like multiple times and you still don't hear me like, what? I, I, at this point, I'm not repeating myself. I also hate a liar. Like people, not just like lie, but People that lie to make themselves look bigger, like, I'm just like, why are you trying to make yourself look bigger in front of me? 
You don't have to impress me. I'm just sitting here like, sis, it's not that big of a deal. What do I do in my free time, y'all? I make videos, I make content. I am just, you know, on my free time, that's what I like to do. I also like to travel when I have time. And um, what's else? Another thing. Oh, I love to read. And I have been getting my read on lately since this whole pandemic. The next question is, what is my personality type? And I really feel like my personality type is, um, I'm an introvert, I'm a loner. Now, I do like to have fun, and once you get to know me, then of course I'm just a little bit more out there. I'm more to myself. I feel like I'm a little calm, but I am a little firecracker, and yeah, so that is my personality type. Next question is, what is my favorite perfume? Y'all, right now I'm loving Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh, and it is their Daisy. It smells so good. It's like a light floral scent. I just love it. I love it. I love it. And that's like, I have been rocking with this for years. This is my favorite perfume. I go to hairstyle. Well, if you have been rocking with me for a long time, you already know what this is. But it is my puff. I mean, I have pictures of this puff, that puff, that puff, that puff, that puff. I love me a good puff and it's more so easier for me because I consider myself kind of like a lazy natural. I really don't have a time, a lot of time to experiment with all these different styles so I puff it up when I have to. Am I single or taken? Y'all, I'm definitely single. <laughs> so I've always been one to be, always need to be in a relationship. But I'm definitely taking this time out for myself to, you know, get to know myself as a single person. So yes, I am single and it's, it's, I am actually enjoying this time to myself. So I, I don't have to like focus on another person. I know that sounds selfish, but like I said, I've always been in a relationship. So it's just kind of nice to just have this time to myself. Who are my favorite YouTubers? Y'all, I have a few faves. But I would definitely say Jackie, 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 Jackie Ina. And another one of my favorites that I like watch every single one of their videos is Juicy Jazz. Like she could be posting something and I'll just hurry up and stop and go watch it. She does makeup so pretty. I also have another favorite YouTuber that I just started watching and it is Erin On Demand. Y'all check her out. If you are into branding, she has so many good tips. Who is my BFF? Okay, so my BFF is actually my cousin. We are like this, y'all. So yes, I'm gonna put a little picture of her here. That is my BFF. Love you, girl. Next question is, do I have any bad habits? <laughs> One of my bad habits, I hate to even admit it, but it is that I like once a person crosses me, like to the point of no return, I just hold that grudge forever. <laughs> like Cardi B say, once you have beef with me, we beef it forever. But it has to be something serious. It's not like, but like if you do something where I feel like it's totally disrespectful to our friendship, totally disrespectful to me, my family, that's it, it's like, cut, 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 cut. I have been working on that. Like, I don't hold grudges as much. I have been working on forgiveness. Um, and you know, cause forgiveness is more so for yourself, not for the other person. And you know, I don't need all that hate in my heart. So, you know, I'm working on it. Next question, what is my favorite food? Y'all, I am like, such a seafood person. One of my favorite foods is crab cakes. I really love crab cakes. I also love fried fish, shrimp, anything seafood, I am there. All right guys, I am done with my makeup look. Let me get my hair together. I have a few more questions, but I am finished my face. So another question was, what is on my music playlist? Right now, I am loving some Meg Thee Stallion. That is like my girl. And I also am loving the baby right now. I just love his, the way he sounds and his the way he raps. So that is what's on my music playlist right now. All right guys, so I am done. This is the finished look. 
Tell me what you think. I didn't really feel like applying lashes, y'all. Me and lashes, we just, we be duking it out. Like some days I do really good and then some days I do not do well at all. It just messes up the whole look. So um, I'm not really feeling lashes today. So this is just my simple makeup look. I'm let me know in the comments down below what other things you wanna know about me. Just drop them down below and I can do a Q&A at another time. Like this video if you enjoyed the content, especially if you enjoy my little story time. Before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the Naturally Fab family. Well guys, it's been real and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.